Hey, Rob here, response review. This young girl stuffs her cat in a jar. These kids are, I mean, is you believe that's real or you do believe it's fake? I mean, with the Photoshop, you could do anything these days, but it looks like the girl really stuffed her cat in a jar. I mean, what is wrong with these kids? These people are absolutely crazy. That girl was actually charged with animal cruelty. If you believe that was just and right, hit the like button, give me your comments, and why, why are young people and why are people acting like this? Putting it on Facebook, the girl, she's looking for attention. This is certainly not the way God wants us to act and react in life and just be in life. You know, the reality is, is God wants us to be kind to animals. The Lord wants us to be kind to one another. Now, the cat's out of the bag. I was going to say the cat's out of the jar. I am a minister of the gospel, friends. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. And really the plan or will that God has for us, he desires to be in the center of our heart or the center of our life. And the only way God can have that plan fulfilled is he has to have an invitation simply because God will not and cannot crash or blow the door down to your heart. God will never make you serve him. God gave us a free will. The Lord didn't create robots so you can accept him out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. In other words, we all control the doorknob to our heart. And I promise you this, once you open the door of your heart just a crack, the Lord will come in with his great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all, his irrevocable, unconditional love. And the Bible is very clear about the love of God. It says in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world, he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe, receive, accept, surrender, and submit your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, you would never perish, you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And God desires no one to perish. He wants us all to have that insurance that when we take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven a home. And the only way we can have that is by having our lives surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus. And desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus... Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God bless you if you prayed that prayer. Heaven applaud you. Angels are throwing a party. Under the search, Rob would won. I have many of the ministry videos where I do elaborate. I talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, the Lord loves you. Trust in Christ for your salvation. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed.